my first impression of Six Discipline um, certainly had a little bit of skepticism just because I wasn't sure we needed somebody to tell us how to goal plan because each of our departments and areas are so unique. Um, I thought we were already doing a good job of planning our goals. What I learned very quickly, however, was the, the, the part of alignment and the importance of alignment. Um, and you didn't have to read the many chapters of the Six Disciplines book and the steps before you started to understand that absolutely I may understand the goals and the needs of my department very well and I may, may even have a good understanding of other areas but that alignment and true fitting together um, was probably missing for our company. Six Disciplines has um, provided us a way to have cohesive leadership. You can't just have one set, put it up on a shelf and say that's what we are and that's what we're going to be and everybody, let's just be aligned around it. People may have had different interests, different um, competing priorities, people being pulled, but now um, Six Disciplines has provided that alignment and that focus so you don't have to waste time um, trying to debate and discuss what's more important. There's just not as much buy-in as you have when you have a group of folks together and they're doing the gold panning, they're involved in the process. If folks are aligning themselves with me, they're aligning themselves with me um, because they need to to be successful in their department, not because I told them to. Remember, it's purposeful innovation. Yeah. So the innovation time is going to be driven by our clients. During the planning process, um, it's kind of interesting. I'm, I'm not shy about speaking my mind or, um, or you know, sort of saying where I think things should, should be or not be. I don't get bent out of shape if people don't see them that way, but I certainly want to make sure that my ideas are heard. Um, but I have to say, through the six discipline process, especially the way that we rate and rank um, in the SWOT analysis, it's really been helpful and I've learned a lot about the importance of listening. And a lot of times we are, as a group, very aligned, but we're saying it different ways. We kind of go back to what we know, the areas we know. So we may be saying the same thing, but we just don't listen to each other enough to understand and say, oh, you know what, well, your challenge is really similar to my challenge. The goal plans the first year were three times the length of the goal plans this year. We had to learn um, how to do that. You know, everything seems important when you talk about it in that one moment of time, but when you really start sorting and really start putting those targets and those measurements in place, you really then can see what truly is important, what are those vital few objectives. An obstacle that we may have had in the past is um, making sure that we had the alignment and support of all the different areas of the company and focusing our business unit and people may have had different interests, different um, competing priorities, people being pulled, but now um, Six Disciplines has provided that alignment and that focus so you don't have to waste time um, trying to debate and discuss what's more important. And while we've always had measurements and goals in place, um, I felt like one of the things that I was lacking that the Six Disciplines methodology has been proven for me is to have very good hard metrics in place. Because if we can't measure it, then is it really important? Tammy's situation, um, that's very appropriate for her. Our goals in previous years were kind of a moving target because we really didn't have real measurements. Um, there were measurements we could, at the end of the year, kind of spin and say, yeah, we did achieve it if you look at it this way. <laughs> So once we went through the process of establishing the individual goal plans, then they were able to understand who they were, who their customers were, what their strategic position was. So alignment in previous years was, you know, uh, regular executive committee meetings, communication on issues, business, but now we've taken it to a depth that we really have true, real alignment where we're working um, very closely together on the things that are most important to the individual companies.